Hello everyone, and yes, yes, it is finally time. Destiny 1. Welcome back to a Destiny 1 video. Highly requested, I've had comments all over the place. When is the next Destiny 1 video? When is the next package opening? Hello, I'm here. It's great to be back on this game. I have been playing Destiny 2 for so long now, I'm used to 60 FPS. So going back to Destiny 1 where things are a little bit slower has been different, but it doesn't take that long to get used to. I mean, look at the armor on this game. I've Everything about this game is just nostalgia central. To the old tower, to the weapons, the armor in this game, it, beautiful. And what better way to kick off the nostalgia of this game again by doing a classic package opening. Now if you're new around here and don't know what I'm doing, we are of course in the tower right now, but when you go to shacks you can pick up a weekly bounty to do with game modes. A very basic bounty to complete, I think it's like 7 matches, a certain amount of kills, a certain amount of assists. Two different game modes having these sort of bounties and the rewards from them can be, we're talking exotics, Trials of Osiris emblems, which of course you can't get any of them anymore. Anymore. So the only source of getting those things if you're still collecting and need that you can get a stack of strange coins You can get legendary weapons, but that's only for shacks the main person we're focusing on the main event is the crucible quartermaster on the other side of him This guy right here is the real deal the most basic crucible bounties We're talking 50 kills of auto rifles 25 kills of shotguns 25 of fusions really easy to get done And once you have those completed the reward selection from these things are trials weapons Obviously not adept, but still trials weapons. Of course, you can't get them anymore. I and banner weapons and the same as before you can't get them anymore as well as that we have the crucible weapon loot pool and some general open world loot so if you're missing anything from destiny 1 and you want to go back i would highly recommend doing these if you've never got trials weapons and i have been making these package openings ever since the quartermaster was changed to offer these bounties just as a little throwback thing so every now and then every few months or so there's a dose of good old destiny 1 nostalgia and every time i make these destiny 1 videos they do really well and i think that just speaks volumes of how much destiny 1 is still loved by most people if not everyone. I mean, it's a classic game. I still get comments to this day saying, is Destiny 1 worth picking up? Or people simply saying, I picked up Destiny 1 because of these package openings, which is great. It's a brilliant game with plenty of content in it. So because it's been a while since I've made a Destiny 1 video, I've gone ahead and done two weeks worth of bounties, roughly that, on each of my characters. So 27 bounties in total. Just from these bounties alone, the loot pool, the amount of weapons and even armor piece you can get. Crazy. We'll see how many Iron Banner weapons we get. We'll see how many Trials weapons we'll get. Iron Banner weapons, God rolls of any sort, or, you know, get terrible weapons. <laughs> I mean, either way, I fully intend to go in Crucible after this with whatever best ones we can get. But I think to kick things off, let's open the Shaxx bounty and see what we get. An ill will. It could have been an exotic, it could have been like 20 strange coins, a Trials emblem, I mean, I'm pretty sure I have one right now. Yeah, I got the Scarab Heart last time. It's fascinating, because we have Reactive Reload, Extended Mag, Reinforced Barrel, Rifle Barrel, and Outlaw. So we basically have Kill Clip and Outlaw. <sighs> I'm going to stop the package opening there for just a moment. To cut a long story short, the entire package opening onwards is completely corrupted. All of the bounties, the gameplay, all frozen still with this image and not moving for the next three and a half hours of recording. And it was a good package opening as well. We got some decent weapons, some throwback exotics. It was a good time. And it was gone. It really did come close to just ruining the video. Until I remembered, I have a second account. It must have been to do more weekly nightfalls or something. It must have been. And I hadn't been on this account in a good few years. So with that to fall back on, I decided the only option here is to complete the bounties on that account. Look at this absolute beauty of a titan. Good old OG armor. Look at it. Embrace it. Witness the style. So I fought on and completed the bounties on my titan. Now... On this account, I only have two characters, my Titan, of course, and my Warlock. And my Warlock at the time was not level 40. And to be able to pick up these bounties, that is the only requirement, level 40. So I had some leveling up to do. And with a colossal sigh, I ventured into story mode and ventured on a nostalgia trip of mission and level grinding, which wasn't that bad. It was actually a lot more peaceful and fun than I remembered. I also forgot how good the Stealthy Crota mission is. Easily one of my favorite missions of all time. And it was done. Level 40 on the Warlock and I proceeded to get the bounties banged out as fast as I could and out of the way to finally record a package opening for you guys that I promised you. And with all that being said, welcome to the actual package opening now. So please do enjoy the following nostalgia. Well then, Two days later, and a bunch of grinding for level 40 on my Warlock, we are here. We are here and back on the second account. 
<laughs> this has kind of taken me on a bit of a nostalgia trip, especially on this character. I hadn't even been on this account for a good three or four years, so right away I was slapped with the nostalgia of Ruin Wings. You guys remember that? Heavy ammo drops more often and contains more ammo in each drop. That's honestly all you would need is Ruin Wings and a Galahorn and run some strikes, and then you were set. And we're not even done with the half of it. Take a look at my vault. I've got a lot of OG stuff here. We've got the secret handshake. You guys remember that? The LDR 5000. Look at these rolls. <laughs> why, why did I keep this thing? We've got some queen weapons as well. The Dream Waker. The Pest Control Matrix. What a throwback all this is, honestly. A one-way ticket. What perk is that? I'm sorry. Do we have who's next? Kill with the final round in the magazine increases reload speed. It's always one magazine anyway. <laughs> So get a kill and you have more reload. Look at these weapons. This was one of the OG ones. Honestly, this is a very early scout rifle. So as you can imagine, when I first got on this account, a, a wave of nostalgia just all over the place. We got the a year one Iron Banner auto rifle, the Similars Raf. Having played a good amount of Crucible for the past couple of days on this account, I have used this exact Red Death and it's so good. It's so good. I know we have the Crimson and Destiny 2, but it's not a pulse. It's not the same. Nostalgia overload for me. We all even got a murmur. If you guys want me to make a third character just to do these on top of my main account and let me know, that'll be quite a long package opening. But hey, if you guys want it, I'm happy to deliver, you know? So check out these bounties first of all. I've not picked these up, by the way. I picked these up years ago, so I've just sort of kept these here just because. It's weird seeing bounties that never expire. I'm level four of Crucible. Like, I, this is, when I say this is my noob, I mean it. Anyway, you guys have waited long enough. I need everything right now. Trials, weapons, exotics, the work. So anything here is useful. Let's go with the Shaxx bounty first. Let's see what we get. Hopscotch Pilgrim. I have obviously I have not had that, but we also got a Sparrow. Okay, I've never seen a Sparrow from this before, ever. What is this? The Flame Corsa. Wow, okay, again. This is new to me. I don't even think I have this on my main account. Is this... A, I'm I'm certain this is Trolls. <laughs> hey, like I said, you can get troll stuff from here that you don't deserve. Prime example. Cool. Good start. Right. Pulse rifles. Go right into it. Spare change. I could have used anything Trolls. Please. Anything that actually is good. If we get a Troll Scout, I'll be immensely happy. Oh, we did. Yes. <laughs> we actually did. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy with that. Like, I'm not even 400 light. I'm such a noob. Oh, we actually got it. I'm so happy about that. That's so good for PvE and PvP. I'm set. Shotguns? What are we gonna get? Did you retort? Cool. Iron Banner? I'll take that. I'll happily take that. Heavy weapons is something I've really struggled with getting my bounty done this week. I only have a swarm, which isn't too bad, but honestly, I have a Galahorn. And I have a Iron Galahorn, but I can't wield it because I need the newest Galahorn. And my actual Galahorn, I can't afford to level up right now. <laughs> Heavy weapon. Tormod's Bellows? I'll take that. Iron Banner again. We're getting some luck here on this account. Okay, lastly, Sniper Rifle. Willerin's March. Not so much. First of all, I'm gonna read the perks of this Burning Eye. I don't care if you know that they're static. I don't care if you know that. Not everyone here has played Destiny 1, and I'm just gonna explain very briefly why this is like one of the best scout rifles ever. First of all, it looks incredible. The perks, we have Third Eye, which is a bit pointless because of the artifact you can get, but it doesn't matter, because instead you can have Zen Moment for extreme stability. We have explosive rounds, very good. We also have fitted stock if you prefer even more stability. A ridiculous amount, we're talking over 100, so it's kind of pointless. Or you can go reinforced barrel, which is just incredible amount of range. So you can pretty much max out range and stability here very easily. Max range, max stability, and have explosive rounds. And that's not even getting to the scopes yet. I mean, like, come on. Easily one of the best scout rifles ever. And we also got the hopscotch and the spare change. Let's check out this hopscotch, a, very, a classic, obviously. Spray and play, speed reload, hand laid stock, small bore, and range finder. Now, spray and play is not too good. I feel like most people reload before the magazine is spent. Having said that, max stability and range finder, that's not a bad start at all. Fairly decent sights as well. I mean, happily, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and right now and lock that. Spare change, not really a fan of. I mean, depends on the perks. I spray and play immediately. I don't like it already. And Eye of the Storm. I really don't like this already. Hand loaded, feather mag, and injection mold. This one I may delete just because no thanks. And look, I, I need the legendary shards. Also legendary marks. Wait, I have 94 heavy ammo synth. I I didn't use any of that when I was grinding the story. How did I not realize that? I forgot they existed. Having said that though, we do have a spark of light. So I could make a third character and already be level 25. That will that'll help with a lot of the initial grind. Okay, I I forgot about these things. <laughs> To be perfectly honest with you, we've got the Iron Banner Sniper Rifle and Iron Banner Shotgun. As for the shotgun, we have it exhumed. Most likely never going to use that perk, ever. Fitted Stock, Quick Draw, and Flared Magwell, and Grenadier. 
there's nothing here for range. This is stability or flared magma. I mean, quick draw's okay, but these two perks. This is one of the worst rolls you can get. The Iron Banner Sniper Rifle, so right away, can you tell something that's a massive no? You're absolutely right, that terrible scope. The security camera scope, I hate it. We also have Futak and Ambush. Uh, I don't mind Ambush, to be fair. We also got Speed Reload, Injection Mold, and Small Bore, and Eye of the Storm. Not very good, again. Cannot complain, though. Who am I to complain? We also got the Iron Banner Rocket Launcher, I mean, the amount of stuff we're getting already is pretty good. Grenades and horseshoes. Oh, I missed that perk. Quick draw, flared magwall, field scout, and battle runner. This is not too bad, you know. This is actually very good. I know battle runner's probably not that wanted for rocket launches, but it's it's a positive perk at least. At least it's not eye of the storm. You know, we're looking at positives here. Do we have hard launch, confined launch, smart drift, and hard launch? There we go. Yeah, this is a strong roll. I like this. And also, desperately needed. Okay, then. I mean, overall, I'm pretty happy so far. Okay, we're switching characters. One sec. Hello. We're on our warlock now. And I look terrible. Like, I look ridiculous. What is this? I still have blue armor on, by the way. Like, we're definitely on. We've just completed the campaign. I've just got my stranger's rifle. New character, new bounties. I'm excited. We've already been pretty lucky with Trials weapons and Iron Banner weapons. Could we get an exotic? Shax, I'm looking at you, buddy. Oh, we got the Scarapart emblem. <laughs> oh, my. I don't deserve that. <laughs> I've never even stepped foot into Trials in this account. Yep, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> you match up in trolls, and this is your enemy. You better fear me, because I am serious, and I'll have my super in about 4 minutes and 57 seconds. We also got a Matador here, so, you know what? My current Matador, by the way, is terrible. So I'll take a new one. What we got here? We have Crowd Control, immediately better. Single Point Sling, Quick Draw, Hand Laid Stock. Oh, nothing to do with range there. Performance bonus, and not the... Oh, we got Akira's Ballistics. I mean, it's definitely the best one I've got so far, so I can't complain. Okay, so we got the Scarab Heart Emblem and a Matador. Pretty good start, if you ask me. No one asked me. Heavy Weapon. The Smolder. Okay, our luck has just immediately- just nosedived. Sniper Rifle? Well earned so much again. What are you trying to tell me, game? Do I need to use this thing? Shotguns? And- What is this? Is this a- The same thing again. Deidre's Retort. The Iron Banner Shotgun. A Okay then, scout rifle and pulse for last. Let's go scout. Ooh, iron banner scout. We got so much iron banner stuff today. Lastly, the pulse. Clever dragon again. Iron banner. What is this? Iron banner. Iron banner. Iron banner. Iron banner. Terrible. I'm sorry. Clown cartridge, and last resort. Okay, so Colovance's duty scout rifle. We have grenadier. Not a, the greatest fan. Field Scout, Casket Mag, Custom Optics, and Hot Swap. Custom Optics was so weird. I'm not going to go ahead and say this is awful, but I mean, there's nothing stability here. I would have preferred a bit of stability here at the very least to make it like a long range scout rifle that could give me grenade energy and have accuracy. I'm trying to make positives, okay? D don't blame me here. What else have we got? The Clever Dragon. Such a classic. I'm so happy I got this thing. Immediately, Glass Half Full. Insane perk. Such a low magazine and high fire rate. This procs. As you can imagine, very often. We've also got Feeding Frenzy, Quick Draw, Casket Mag, Hammer Forged, and Ord Frame. Yeah, this is one of the better ones, definitely. Iron Red Dot, Iron Warrior Sights, and Iron Range Scope. I'm not going to use a scope for this thing, that'll be silly. I am very happy with this. Dedius's Retort for a second time, and you wouldn't believe it, but I also got this on my main account. But of course, the footage is gone, so I have no proof of that. We have Performance Bonus, High Caliber Rounds, Rifle Barrel, Flared Magwar, and Rescue Mag. I'm not sure how I feel about that perk, to be honest. I can see the use, but also, I can also see it not being useful, especially Crucible. Smart Drift Control, Accurate Ballistics, and Aggressive Ballistics. Yeah, this is one of the better ones, for sure. Whaler Runs March. Can we get a better one than the... It's Outlaw again. What's going on? Outlaw and Underdog. We've got Explosive Rounds, Injection Mold, and Small Bore. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> it's not great, is it? Is it great? I'm trying to think from you guys' perspective, from someone who can actually say, No, 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 Heli, this is a good roll. You're missing out right here. Underdog, if that proc's in Crucible, it's incredible. An injection mold, or a small ball, or explosive rounds, oh, it's incredible. I, I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob from Kansas. The smolder. Do I even need to look at this thing? Now, clown cartridge. I fully, I'm fully aware this is not a bad perk. Perfect balance. Flared magwell. Snapshot. 
Look, I'm sorry, it needed to be done. If that's gonna lose me a few likes, I don't care. Where's the fov slider? This thing's like in my face at the moment. Well then, we started the day with no trials weapons and no year two or year three iron banner weapons. And look at us now, we've got loads. Even the trial scout rifle, which I'm over the moon about. What an absolute unit. If you guys do want to see what I mentioned earlier, all three characters on this account and also my main account, all of the bounties on all of those characters bundled into one big video with gameplay and everything, then let me know in the comments and by also liking the video. I'm serious about that, I'll do it. It truly means the world to me to see thousands of people checking out these silly throwback videos. Still, to this day, I recognize so many of you guys in the comment section and it's just wonderful to see. So genuinely, Thank you for being here, and thank you for watching. I do hope it was a fun and enjoyable throwback video for you guys, even though the difficulty making this video, you know, after losing all of my footage. Still, we got there in the end, and I appreciate every single one of you guys for sticking around. Until next time though guys, please take care, have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. I've already said take care, uh, okay, I really suck at outros. Goodbye, I love your faces.